Hey everybody, welcome to my let's try of Vile Fortress Sword of Algus? Algus? I don't know. Found this game on a random list in RMN. This game was made by BLIH. Blech. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that either. Apparently this game is a horror remake of a Japanese sample game called Sword of Algus. Okay, so... I'm guessing that's what this title says right here. I can't really read that, but let's go ahead and start. This game was made in 2009. The kingdom of Lucifer is in peril. Angered by their deeds, the gods have sent demons to punish them for their sins. Not sure I like how this text is not completely centered on the screen. I mean, it is centered, but it's not taking up the full space, but whatever. Night by night, villages are consumed, corrupted beasts, only to rise again as legions of undead. So, since this is a remake of a Japanese game, apparently all this dialogue has been translated. So, how long would Luc Lucifer last until it becomes hell itself? I'm not sure if they meant to call it Lucifer or what, but... Okay. But all is not lost. The Sword of Algis, wielded by Saint Algis himself, has the power to rid the kingdom of its blight. I-T-S. No apostrophe. Yeah, so, I did see that this game is just a bunch of RTP, but well, let's hope that the gameplay is interesting. Carry and gather your heroes. The demons know the sword and plan on destroying it. I. Alright, so I see a bunch of squares. I'm guessing that the developer, um, hold on. What's going on here? Why is the screen cut off? <laughs> oh, I see. It looks like I had part of the screen uh, clipped for some reason. That's very strange. Let me very quickly... There we go. That's better. My bad, my bad. Alright, guys. So, there's a bunch of squares here. I guess there are some parts that he didn't finish translating. Um, <laughs> I'm really not sure what I'm looking at. I guess, yeah, that's the first slot for our first character. We got a warrior, monk, spell sword. I'm guessing the more squares there are, the better the character is. <laughs> anyway, we want a good, uh, good loadout. Although I don't really, I I can see what class they are, but I still don't really know what that entails. You know, we'll go for a warrior to start off with. Um, I guess we'll go for a magic user, Sabrina. <laughs> Sabrina, witch. That's really funny. Priest, maybe he heals. That'd be nice if I, to have a healer in the party. Uh, and I don't, I don't really know what to put last. Maybe spell sword. That sounds pretty interesting. All right, two squares means good to go. That'll be enough, you four. We can't have our heroes going out into battle drunk. And I still can't believe we're sending such a small group to retrieve the sword of Algis. It's just plain suicide. Oh well, you guys will take a walk around the village and talk to everybody. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm not really looking forward to that. Now I would suggest you buy some supplies. Even though it's doomsday outside, people here aren't going to give supplies away. Oh, and by the way, I believe my assistant wants to show you something downstairs. Yeah? Thanks. Thanks for the drinks, wench. What do you kids want, huh? The world's coming to an end, so I plan on drinking my misery away. Now get and let me drink in peace. Alright, goodbye. I wish my girlfriend wasn't so focused on her looks all the time. Then again, she is pretty hot. Although I'm pretty good with a weapon, I'm not going into the demon territory just because I might turn into an ugly zombie. They might have mercy on me and just turn into the succubus. And just turn into the succubus. That is a risk I am not willing to take. So vain. I'd love to help you guys go and save the day and all, but somebody has to keep an eye on the villagers. Yep, it's not like I'm afraid of the monsters or anything. <laughs> Right, the Sword of Algis resides in the depths of Fort Algis. Such a place would be the perfect location for the fiends to breathe their armor. So everything important is called, you know, it's named after this Algis guy. I guess that makes it easier to remember. Uh, 
to play some Dreamy Lars, so don't expect the press to be so quick. You are terribly and look like my friend across the table. What's wrong with this guy? My scar still hurts! That's the only thing you got? That's the only thing you got to say for that? Give those creatures a slow and painful death. I will. I am a man of tainted blood, living my life only to fulfill my greed. Fulfill my greed. Heed my words well, young one, for the darkness knows your desires and may use them against you. Fragmented sentences. I guess this goes to the basement. Here are some objects you'll encounter on your journey. Man, people should really proofread their uh, their dialogue more. I think spelling errors are very frustrating. <laughs> they might even save your life. This is a chest. Red ones like this require a key to open. Careful not to step on this tile or else you'll you be quite in pain. Maidens won't want to touch this tile that can drain their MP. This tile can make you sick, better bring some antidotes. Beware of this tile, it has different strange F. Nice cut off there. So this is just a big tutorial. A simple fire spell should handle this plant problem. You need some huge strength to break this boulder down. Unless you have some spike proof status, don't walk on spikes. Holes are a one-way transportation. Alright, cool. Thanks for the tutorial. Looks like I'm always running, so if I hold shift, I walk. Not sure if that holds any significance whatsoever. But, alright. Good luck and may God save us all. You have anything to say about this cat? So, I do like that there is custom music that is always appreciated. Mommy says I shouldn't stay up too late. He says otherwise the monsters will come and gobble me up. Ah, yes, conditioning the minds of children. There are actually monsters on a little bit. Man, my wife is the greatest. She knows a lot about the history of Lucifer. In fact, her smarts has led her to a job as a teacher near the royal castle. But she's been acting strange lately. She tends to come home from a romance. Blah blah blah. And all this for his countless victories. Uh, I got some more cut off here. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if this guy even playtested his game. Like, maybe he did, but he just didn't care to playtest the dialogue, I guess. You gotta look at everything when you're making your game. Testing is a big part of this, uh, process. Yeah, I got that. Sort of all just has never been stained with the blood of others. Who's others? Like, other people? This guy's walking all over his crops. Oh man, what's the point of getting the sword? Sure, you can get rid of the demons, but we'll all die eventually, right? Yeah, this guy is like, big brain logic. Alright, I'm starting to see repeated face sets here. <laughs> Somehow I feel I was partly responsible for this disaster. I may seem angelic, but the truth is I'm in an affair with my twin sister's husband. Why do you gotta tell me that? We are all going to die. Uh, this game is weird, dude. <laughs> okay. That's, that's real funny. So I guess we gotta stock up. Um, uh, I don't really like this kind of opening where you have to go across a village, get all of your shit ready instead of just having it right off the bat. That's kind of not a very entertaining way to start off the game in my opinion. Okay, so I'm already familiar with RPG Maker, so I already know what these squares mean. You can't fool me. This is buy. This is sell. This is exit. Easy enough. Okay, so we have 500 gold. I'm gonna go ahead and get... Oh, shit. If I get 10 of these, that's all my gold. I'm gonna get broke. I don't know if I want to get broke. I mean, look at all these useful items here. Dove's feather allows you to escape. That could be useful. So, tell you what. I'll get five of these. I've already got armor and weapon, so I shouldn't have to really worry about that. I'm gonna get uh, one of these, one of these. I'm gonna get one of everything. Hey, what the hell? What is this? It recovers speech. Is that just silence? I think that's what they meant. It recovers courage. Yeah, I don't know what courage means. Liquid courage? Is that, is that an alcoholic beverage? Mystery drink cures all problems. Man. I wish I could have some of that in real life. Alright, required to open locks. This sounds important, so I'll get two of those. And it looks like I can't get a dove's feather, which is unfortunate. 
All right, we're good to go. Oh, jeez, what the hell is all this? Blood flows inside the glass ball. Okay, so I'm not that familiar with VX. That's what this uh, game runs on. So I don't know what those stats are down there. Really not sure. But it looks like these are lined up as columns underneath the appropriate characters. It's pretty cool. So these are just, um, I guess, accessories or something. I don't know if you equip those or if you just use them. But uh, we've got all sorts of interesting stuff here. I don't think I'm going to worry very much about it for now. Uh, this is the armor shop. Got a lot of cool stuff. And the weapon shop. Well, we're too poor to get anything, so... Yeah, we're good to go. So, let me just, uh... I'm wondering how you switch... There we go. Q and W is to switch uh, allies quickly in the equipment screen. Alright, I think I've spent enough time doing this boring shit, so let's go ahead and save. Alright, so I was in the pop! Yeah, I think the in functions just as any other in. Uh, it's gonna cost me... what? Come on, dude, you're not gonna give me the cost? I don't even remember how much gold I have. <laughs> Oi! This inn really fixes you up from whatever those fiends throw at you. Whatever, dude. Bork, Bork! I speak dog. Please stop the demons. They have taken everything from me. No problem. Uh, hope your campfire doesn't go out. I already talked to this lady. Okay, so I really wish my parents would stop fighting. It was bad. I'm trying to see if any of these... Any of these NPCs, like, give me anything, but I guess not. These houses probably don't have anything I can pick up either, so this is all very pointless. This arrangement of beds is very strange. <laughs> Imagine sleeping in beds like this. Like, does anybody actually get up from bed and, like... Exit the bed from the front like this? That was so weird. Anyway. We got a treasure chest up here. Don't think I didn't see you. A dove's feather! Wow! Awesome! That. <laughs> Good thing I didn't uh, buy one. That was lucky. Alright, I guess we'll get out of here and go see what this dungeon is all about. So far, this game is not very interesting, but hopefully it picks up. It's all RTP shit. Crystal has been activated. Search for the others. Oh, it's just going to tell me straight up. Okay, so what indicates that it remains active, you know? And if we're going to keep track of multiple crystals... Okay. <laughs> Someone put this text off to the side. It looks like triggering my OCD. I... <laughs> what? What is this battle entry sound, dude? Alright, let's see how easy these guys are to take out. Looks like I have burn. Great for weed removals. I'm gonna burn that dank kush. Uh, Holy sword brings justice to forces of darkness. All right, let's see what this is all about. Thirty-nine damage. Not bad. Was sent to hell. Looks like these guys have around hundred HP. Choose on some eyeballs? No, no, thank you. Yikes. Looks like the healer and the uh, the witch, the magic caster, and the physical damage is not too bad. Um, this guy, this guy who made this game, he says that yet the attempts of translation are about 98% done, but I'm seeing a shit ton of squares. I'd say more like 60% or something. Sure, maybe most of the dialogue is translated, but these basic. Uh, basic terms. These repeated strings. The fact that they're not translated is kind of weird. I figured that'd be pretty easy to do. And since you see them a lot, um, I think it would be a higher priority, honestly. Should be done before everything else, especially dialogue. 
rusted shut. So we have random encounters, which is um, quite the turnoff for me. I don't really like random encounters, but. So we got a pile of sludge over there. I'm not sure what they do. Like, see all these squares? I don't know what these guys are doing. Like, they're attacking me and everything, but what if an enemy has a unique skill? I don't fucking know what they're doing. Alright, so our party is mostly pretty fast, so we're usually going- Oh, we got a health potion, very nice. I don't think I need that right now. What is that next? I have no idea what that means. Is that like an AT ATB bar or something? Like in the good old days of 2003? He sends a powerful presence beyond this door. Empty altar. Okay, that's probably important. Oh shit, we stepped on a damaging thingy. Oh, I forgot about. Huh? How am I supposed to avoid that? I guess it's like a. like one of those uh, damaging doors from the Binding of Isaac or something. You have to go there to get the, the goods within. So we got some. Got some centipedes, very nasty, very gross. I'm gonna go ahead and burn them. Let's go ahead and burn the second one. Keep wailing on the first one. They're called skin crawlers, so they do a decent amount of damage. And I think Sir Gregory just dodged that bird. These guys seem to have uh, more health. Okay, let me just take him out. Hopefully Joe's not gonna... Why are they going after one guy, dude? That's so annoying. <laughs> Do I have uh, anything to revive? I don't. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to get out of here then. So these skin crawlers are faster than my party. The birds are not. That's pretty obnoxious. Okay, so Joe is still dead. Joe Mama. We're gonna have to get our asses out of here. Is there... Okay. So, yeah, we're gonna have to get out of here. I kind of messed up there, but... That was unlucky, man. Why did they go after Joe? My man Joe. Is the AI actually smart? Do they detect who is uh, on the brink of death? Okay, well, we got some gold from that skirmish, so... It's a free, uh... Free heal, basically. Alright, let's go to sleep and try it again. Uh, one of the most... Definitely one of the most interesting things about this game is... Like, all the sound effects and the music. Like, look at... Listen to this battle... This battle entry sound, it's crazy. Alright, so, predictably, we are faster than a pile of sludge. That'd be pretty pathetic if we weren't. And this guy is pretty weak. Quite insignificant. Yeah, we barely get anything from those guys, so... Oh, that's weird. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. The music was kind of delayed there. Alright, so the sludge... Very, um, low threat. We're just gonna go for the bird. He definitely does more damage. The demon verb. I'm trying to. I'm holding down shift. I think that makes the battle messages go by a little faster. So I'm gonna return to. Actually, no, I'm gonna go back. Let me escape from these guys. I'm gonna go down this way. Those fucking sounds, dude. Isn't that, isn't that sound used in like um, cartoons like Ren and Stimpy or something? <laughs> kind of silly for a game that's supposed to be uh, a horror remake. Not very scary, but RTP tends to not be very scary. I'm gonna take this bird out real quick. Okay, so holding down shift does make the battle go faster. I do remember that. It's not... 
too much faster, but it's still something. Okay, what was that all about? Did I use a key? I think I used a key for that, because I bought two. Okay, it didn't give me a message or anything, so I was kind of, uh... Kind of confused. Is that a dead end? Oh, shit. That's a lot of guys. Lost souls? Ugh. Lost souls. I hate those guys. Concussion? I've been stunned! Oh dear! Looks like it's not a 100% uh, success rate though. So that's good. These guys don't do too much damage, but I can see that stun being very annoying. Looks like they're faster than us too, which is not cool. So basically, when they stun us, that means that we lose our turn. Do a decent amount of damage. What the hell? How are these guys doing so much now? They were doing like around 50 before, right? They weren't doing that much damage. What the hell? Huh, wait, what? Am I just like losing it or did Joe like, didn't he take so much damage there? What happened? Huh, that was weird. Ooh, looks like Sabrina, the teenage witch, got something. Uh, she got plague. Sends out a deadly disease. Probably just poison. I'm gonna save here. I should probably save more often. Uh, a lot more often, if possible. Is that really a dead end? No way. Am I missing something here? Dude, I used a key to get in here! What's going on? Oh, man. You can't just have me use a consumable item like that and just send me to a dead end. Am I missing something? Don't hit Henry, please. Okay, good. Thank you, very much appreciated. Why is this a dead end, dude? That is so whack. <laughs> uh. Oh, look at that. This goes to a treasure chest. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I guess we got got some stuff back to back here. I'm gonna use a health potion on Henry. Uh, I'll have her burn one of these eye peckers. He's got a healing spell. I'm not sure how much it heals, but I wish it would say in the description or something. That's a pretty decent amount. That's like half the health potion, so. All right, let's finish these guys off. I think we're looking pretty good right now. Not bad. Bunch of squares. I thought you fixed the dialogue, dev. I just got fucking scammed. What is this? This is like 20%, uh, yeah, 20% done. Come on, dude. I don't even know what I picked up. I guess I picked up this, the witch's orb. That's pretty good. Good thing I picked the witch. I don't know if the the spoils would have uh, changed determined by uh, what characters I had in my party. That would be admirable, but somehow I doubt that they thought of that. Anyway, sample games are not really supposed to be super impressive and complex. They're just supposed to show you how basic things work. So. I'm not trying to say I'm really expecting this to be an amazing game, especially not since I'm doing a random listing on RMN. Uh, this game has been released in 2019 or 2009, and there have been no reviews, hardly anything said about it. So my expectations were below zero when I picked this game up. Like. Like, the, uh, the guy who developed this, developed this uh, translated version, he has screenshots where there are squares everywhere. Like, why would you use that to advertise your game? That's very counterintuitive. That's gonna turn a lot of people off immediately. Now you wanna fix those translations, like, ASAP. So we have just enough keys to get all these items. So that really was just a dead end. That is unbelievable. Some lost souls. I'm just gonna run for it. So far, I've not failed to run. 
But I feel like if we go against those centipedes, uh, it's gonna be a little harder to run away. Just because they're... They seem quite a bit faster. Oh, we just failed to run away! Uh, just as I was talking about it. Damn it. Uh, I guess you're gonna die now. GG's. Okay, I didn't want to attack the haunted slop. But I guess because we were all attacking that eye pecker, who just died, um, I guess it automatically had us target the first guy in the party. How are we looking? We're still looking pretty decent, I think. We can still move on. Uh, these guys are insignificant, I'm just gonna run away from them. That sound and the music, that reminds me of like something from Doom 64. <laughs> Oh no, the birds are too fast! Okay, thankfully they gave us another chance. Fantastic. I'm gonna save the game. So what's over this way? Huh? That wasn't there? What the hell, dude? That wasn't there? I guess I need a key for that. So these, uh, these trap floors are just, they're just invisible. It's like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon or something. Well, that's pretty annoying. <laughs> Not very fond of that, personally. Alright, let's just wail on this guy. Get some burn magic going. Oh no, she got stunned. I wonder how much MP she has. Uh, she's got a really good amount, so I, I see no reason why we shouldn't... Uh, I guess I don't have many mana potions, though. Looks like she's still stunned, which is kind of annoying. I thought that goes away after every set of turns. After every round, you know? We picked up an antidote. That's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and use a health potion on... Actually, no. What I'm gonna do is... Since Henry's got himself quite a few MP points, I'm gonna go ahead and use heal on her. And uh, she's looking very healthy now. That is so stupid. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like these invisible trap floors, dude. I mean, sure, if you could easily see them, then you can easily avoid them. Yeah, okay, I get that. But we need to take out the centipede. Burn it! But, oh, that is really frustrating. I'm not sure I can say it is uh, Bliss' fault, the developer of this, because he only translated this, so. But that is still um, not very fun. Not very fun at all, I'd say. Especially since uh, these traps can lead to some very, very nasty outcomes. Go ahead and heal Sir Gregory. Save the game. So, we can't go through that door. Um, there was some dialogue, but it was all squares. And I am starting to become kind of frustrated. <laughs> so, let's go to the... the leftmost room this time, where we were before. Before we got owned. This sounds like Doom 64, man! Those moans! <laughs> Kinda creepy. Oh, there's another damaging floor that I probably cannot avoid because I have to go back eventually. Oh dear. Uh, this is very much unpleasant. Not a pleasant game. Burn the burb. I keep forgetting to hold down shift. My bad. Nice dodge. Sir Henry. Yeah, yeah, okay, Sabrina leveled up, cool. And there's another trap floor that was invisible. Fantastic, and we have to walk through it again. Very cool. It doesn't seem to do that much damage, so maybe I shouldn't be fretting too much about it. Okay, so all the, something tells you no one wants you going, <laughs> Okay, that was translated. Uh, cool. <laughs> Getting 
kind of tired of all this. Um, and that and that opens. Is that a shortcut? I think that's a shortcut. Let's see. Awesome. Okay. Very cool. I like shortcuts. Shortcut are very much appreciated. Oh, we're outside. Ah, oh, I was getting tired of that dank air down there, dude. Right. Oh, there's still enemies. No. Oh, we got some new enemies too. These guys look nasty. Burn. Holy sword. Probably very effective against these guys. Oh, that's a double attack? Oh, big damage. Oh, jeez. I knew these guys would be trouble. What the hell? That didn't do very much. Joe's normal attack did almost as much as that. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, this guy's ganging up on Sir Gregory. We need the whole party to take down one of these guys. Okay, so I'll go ahead and heal him up. Uh, cure him of his poison. I want to keep going, so... I'll go ahead and keep using items. Okay, use... I wonder if that takes my MP automatically. What could be inside? I don't know! Why don't you open the chest and see? Do I need a key for that or something? Oh god. Shrooms. Maybe I should heal. Magic shrooms! Hopefully they don't actually have magic. Knockout gas. Suddenly unconscious. Oh, it's sleep. I was hoping that would be actual, like an actual death state. Oh, that is really annoying though. That hits everybody? Come on, dude. That is very unpleasant. Oh, and luckily they hit the guys who are sleeping, so they in turn wake them up. Something tells me this game wanted me to grind a bit before going out here. I'm not very privy to that. Uh, these shrooms are very nasty. Let's burn this sucker. I don't know if I have anything to cure heal. Okay, so Joe and Sabrina are just fine. What did that message say? He's not awake? Sabrina is asleep. Man, these squares are so irritating. <laughs> Sir Gregory leveled up. I think I want to get out of here. Honestly, I don't want to go here yet. The enemies here are a little too powerful. I can't escape! I just wasted a turn! Okay, maybe I should use... Why can't I use this, this dove's feather? What? Why can't I use the dove's feather? That doesn't even make a lot of sense. Do I have to use it in a special situation? What does that mean? Wait, what if that's the, an escape room for the dungeon? I think that's what that means. You can get out of a dungeon entirely. Huh. I didn't think of that. Okay. We got a lot of gold from that. Oh, shit. Taking big damage from poison. We are running out of supplies. I think I want to use that, actually. Oh, I just used health potions, though. Oh, dear. Okay, well, we're going to have to keep going, then. Whew, thank God. Wait, so that took us upstairs. Maybe we do have to... Oh, there's still one place I haven't checked. I guess multiple places. I guess I do need a key for those red chests. I think the game already told me about that, but I just forgot. Alright. So this time, let us go down. I don't care about you guys, you worthless piles of sludge. Escape. Let's go this way. Got a chest. Very cool. Can I sleep on this? Nope. 
How unfortunate. It is not comfortable enough. Maybe I should be finding more enemies. Empty rooms. Damn it. Found a health potion. Very cool. Uh, red chest. Can't open that. Uh, this is kind of weird. This room, like, overlaps with that room on the left there. You guys see that? That's weird. <laughs> 20 gold. Oh, can't escape. Fantastic. Let's try again. Got another chest. Very cool. We're getting a good amount of gold. So we can probably upgrade our... Watch your step. Hmm. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> How am I supposed to watch my step? I... There's no way to detect whether I'm going to fall into a, a fucking trap. Look at this crap. Is this for real? Oh dear, that is very unpleasant. I don't like that at all. <laughs> what is this, man? And there's a... Oh man, oh man, I require a key. Oh jeez, I just went through all that. All right, tell you what, I think I'm gonna stop here. Okay, that was Vile Fortress, Sword of Algis. Um, if you guys wanna check this game out, check out the description. Um, I'm done with this, personally. Uh, there's nothing, nothing very unique or interesting about this one, except for the music, that's, that's just about it. Um, traps, definitely, definitely a turn off. I don't want to keep playing this if things like that are going to happen. All for nothing at the end, man. Can you believe that? That locked chest? <laughs> it's like they don't want me to play this game. Well, I'll fulfill your wishes. Alright guys, that's my let's try this game. I'll see you all next time. Peace.